Expressal RS is a great protocol that the FPV community is using quite vastly these days. But I find sometimes that people are saying in the forums and the groups and my customers are calling me because they're having difficulties to bind an Express Solaris receiver. There are many different ways that the developers have created and maybe that's actually one of the reasons why people get confused. There are too many ways, too many options, then they don't know what to do. And I also suspect that a lot of people were used to the way that it used to be before with the first sky and crossfire pushing the button and these kind of things and since express RS changes a little bit that uh, mentality then people don't find their the way i want to show you today three different ways that you can use to to bind your express RS receiver so you have something to refer you have a video where to refer quickly and see if any of these ones help you when you have an Express LRS receiver in your drone. So the first one that I'm gonna show is creating the firmware and uploading it Wi-Fi to the Express LRS receiver. This I think is the easiest way for me. I normally do this all the time, especially because I have to only do it on the receiver. I don't have to touch the transmitter. So I don't need, even have to have the transmitter or the radio on to do this so what you do is that you check on your receiver the receiver should be flashing fast green and then you're gonna go to your uh, computer Wi-Fi network and you're gonna find the Express LRS receiver network once you find this this pop-up should come up directly or it might be that you need to open it. If you need to open it, then you just take a regular website or a web browser and you input 10001 and you should have exactly the same that I was showing that pop-up before. In here, you can update or upload your new firmware. So let's create the firmware and upload it here. To create the firmware, you need to be connected to the internet. I'm going to be using this website that is called Express LRS Flasher. There is a configurator as well, but I like pretty much this one. I think it's, it's faster. If you come here, you select the version of the Express LRS that you want. In my case, 321 is the one that I have everywhere. I think there is a newer one. No, this is the newest one right now. So that's the newest one. The vendor, the, the one, the receiver that I'm using right now is an Animno receiver. This you should know because where you bought it or you can see sometimes on the chipset themselves. Uh, then the device type is a receiver is 2.4. This I know as well from the data sheet or from the, the, the device that I bought. And here it's sometimes a little bit complicated to know which receiver do you have. Uh, in my experience, if you flash the wrong one between the two of them, because I know this is not a diversity, it's, it has only one antenna, so uh, it does nothing wrong happen. But I know this kind of receiver, it's the ESP one, if I'm not wrong. So I choose this one, go to next. Here is where the Express LRS magic happens, right? I can bind my drones using just a binding phrase which is the simplest way for me to do it and i write my binding phrase here you can guess it not difficult to to imagine what my phrase is uh, in region even if i'm in europe i will keep it in fcc because if you choose the lbt or the europe version your receiver is going to be uh, cap at 25 milliwatts and you don't want that you want to have it open to everything else i think actually this is more for the tx than the rx but again keep it an fcc and everything will be open and everything will work better and here select flashing method you're just going to do local download so once that i click here on download i get this firmware.bin right this is the file and now I'm going to go to my Express LRS RX and I'm connected, opening this page 10001 and I come here, oops, 
you see it disappeared, right? So I need to open that page myself. Sometimes this happened, but here it came back. I choose in the file. You can also drag and drop the file so I can take it from here and put it here. And I click update. Sometimes you get these kind of messages. I'm pretty sure that this is an anemno. I don't, I don't know why from factory they come uh, with unidentified, but this is okay. I keep going. I think everything happened so fast that uh, I didn't realize. It might be that it's already done. So let's, let's uh, verify that. Once the receiver enters Wi-Fi mode again, I will check if the new flash if the new flash version is up. Something happened. Let's verify if the new version uploaded or not. My receiver is again in, in Wi-Fi mode because it's blinking fast. And I go into the, the Express RS Wi-Fi. You see here it's the Nimno flash and the firmware is 321. So it actually worked. It went pretty fast, but it, it did work. Uh, one thing that you might want to check is this. This is the, the, the bind phrase that I input. There is uh, a way to check that. If I write in here, I'm going to be putting all these addresses from these web pages um, in the description of the video so you can find them. But if I write it here, it's going to give me the number that is going that the receiver is going to be using. And if you see, it's exactly the same number that I want, which means that the receiver it's flashed correctly and it has the right passphrase. What does this mean? That if I get my radio right now, and I reboot that receiver, there should be bound. So let's see that. So let's turn on the radio. I have my Manimno TX here. Uh, and I'm gonna reboot the receiver and they should be bound now. You see, we got all the bars, which means they are bound. Pretty easy, pretty nice. This for me is the simplest and the fastest way. Let's see other ways. Okay, now we're gonna go with method number two. I can show you the radio is not bound uh, and the receiver is connected to a drone. And now it's flashing quick. So it's in Wi-Fi mode. But we're not going to do Wi-Fi this time. We're going to go and do better fly pass through. How do we do this? First of all, we go again to the Express LRS flasher. We input the same information that we had before. Let's start over here. So it's completely new. 3.2.1 is the latest one. We have the vendor is the Nanimno RC. We have the device type 2.4 receiver. Exactly the same thing that we were doing before with the difference now that uh, I'm going to lower this so we go a little bit faster. Nord FPV is my passphrase. And here in selecting flashing method, we're going to be using beta flight pass through. But with beta flight pass through, we are assuming that the device, the, the receiver is connected to beta flight. It's connected to the drone it's connected correctly when it comes to regards the TX and RX. Remember that the TX of the receiver goes to the RX of the board and the RX of the receiver goes to the TX of the board. If all these connections are okay and you have configured Crossfire as the protocol in Betafly, then it means that now the system, the computer can communicate with the receiver through 
the flight controller and through Betafly protocol, if you want to think like that. So I have configured that. I have checked with the diagram of the board and I'm sure that my physical connections are correct. And I have the configuration on Betaflight correct. So I should be able to go here, select Betaflight pass through. And now I choose this one, which is the Betaflight, uh, which is connected. The USB cable is physically connected to the computer, to the drone. And I go connect. That's the problem. I have the Betafly app open and that's why I cannot communicate with the drone. So I need to close everything, especially Betafly. And I should try again here. And now it's going through, okay? You see that now it's asking me, this is the, what is connected and I can flash. One thing to, to highlight here, this erase flash first is actually useful if you have had any kind of problem uh, flashing the wrong firmware, for example, or there is sometimes that you get some kind of error that is saying something about memory or magic numbers, something. If you get those kind of errors and you want to really like uh, redo your whole uh, receiver, then click on erase flash first and continue. But um, I know that my receiver is fine, so I'm just going to flash it. Flashing succeed, so I should be able to turn my radio and re when the device reboots, I'm going to unplug, plug again, and I should start seeing my Okay, so sometimes this happens and it's, I think there is a new feature on the Express Wireless receiver that I don't really understand that it keeps the old uh, passphrase even if you update it when you are flashing. So if you see here, if I, if I write my, my passphrase here, you see the number 191, so on and so on. And I take what's in there right now you see the numbers don't match, right? That means that the, the binding phrase in the receiver is actually not the correct one, even if I flash it before. Again, I'm not 100% sure why this happened. I've, I've seen a few videos saying that the developers had this as a, as a feature, but who knows? Easy to fix. You write the passphrase again, once connected to the Wi-Fi, you save and reboot, and now the device should be bound. You see here? Now I have the receiver bound. That was method number two, ready. Method number three, it's very easy too, but it's only applicable for SPI receivers. What's SPI? It's when the receiver is uh, already into the flight controller. So it's not an external device, it's not using an UART from the external ones, but it's like integrated on the, in, the U, in the flight controller. When you have one of those ones, normally the drone has to be configured here on the receiver side. You see that it's called SPI and you have directly Express LRS. So in this mode, you can come to the CLI and you can write, uh, let's say that we have a, a, a drone that somebody gave us. So you can write Express LRS, uh, get Express LRS, uh, Express, uh, Express LRS. And you're going to see here again, the UID for what's in the drone as a passphrase. All right. If then you can come to the then you can come to this page and use this to see if this is the number that you want to have sorry this is not what i wanted to show is this that i wanted to show here so now in this drone i have right now the same phrase right because this is one of my drones but let's say that this was completely different 
you check in here with your phrase is something different. So you write in this app or in this website the phrase that you want and it's going to give you the beta fly commands and it's just going to give you the past phrase that you're going to put in here. When you, once you do that, the drone has now the past phrase and whenever it starts, it's going to bind to your radio. That was easy, right? Remember, just with SPI, command line, keep book this, uh, these websites and you're gonna get everything easy and ready. So hopefully there is something here that you can use when you're binding your uh, Express LRS to your drones. You have three methods, two to do regular receivers, one to do SPI. The SPI is very simple command line. You have to remember or take note of this command somewhere, but um, it's super simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.